Hello guys, a while back I was wondering, I've always wanted to make my very own video game and well I finally figured out what to do. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're either going to want to choose whether you want Unity or UDK. Alright, UDK is good for first person shooters in RPG games. Unity 3D is good for anything else. Have you seen that game Dead Trigger on the App Store? That was made by Unity 3D. Have you seen that game? Something was made by UDK. So if you want Unity, you're going to want to go to unity3d.com. And you'll see the f one of the things that comes up is Dead Trigger up here because it is a really big... Um, you can kind of get a preview of what Unity 3D is all about. And even if you go to the store, you can download all these assets. You can, I would suggest, um, the free version. Don't get the 30-day trial of Unity Pro because it'll erase all the things you did with the Unity Pro, and that sucks. All right, um, you might want to get Unity Pro if you really like it, but I just use the free Unity. If you want to get UDK, you're gonna want to go to UDK.com, and it is the Unreal Engine. Or you can go to UnrealEngine.com, it doesn't matter. This is a pretty big step up. This has all the graphics. Unity has the games where if you don't want to make full-on graphics. So you're going to want to open up one of these softwares, and I will show you a creation I made in Unity. I'm not going to show you a creation I made in UDK because my third-person shooter in UDK did not work out well. That's why I'm recommending it only for first-person shooters. And Unity, in my opinion, is a hell of a lot easier to use. Now, um, this, I just made a testing phase. You can also upload it to a PlayStation 3 disc with Unity Pro, which is really nice. Alright, so I am working on this. Yes, it was a project starting from FPS Kit, but I redid quite a few models and added a century. So, let's see it. So, this is one of my own games. This and this, I don't take any credit for at all. Um, but these other weapons I made. This is the AUG. Um, pretty cool. This is the, uh, machine gun. That's pretty cool as well. This is my, uh, block. This is just the reskin of the Desert Eagle they had. And as you can see, it's kind of glitchy right there still, but working on it. I have the shotgun. I have the this one I did not make because this was too hard to make. It's like a Modern Warfare 3 model or something. But it is really cool. I don't have flash. I'm working on that, but it has a really nice reloading. Um, you guys can download this from armbook.com. You send them a message asking for the download. I just reskinned it. You also have like the flashlight, the one stuff like that. Then you have these ground pieces, you have my sentry over here, but that is basically my game. But that's just a preview of one of the things, and it didn't take me long at all to make that. That was so easy to make. So, yeah, I'm not going to show you exactly how to make that, but um, you basically, uh, if you're good at JavaScripting, you have tons of JavaScript stuff, and if you're not good at JavaScripting, I know a place where you can learn JavaScripting, and that place is called, open up your web browser, Code Acad, Code, Code Academy.com, and it's actually, yeah, Code Academy.com, and once you're on here, it is, um, you can basically go through this, and then you get started, so you type in your name, and then it tells you everything, so quotes around it, so, yeah, it basically teaches you how to script, and I, and it tells you good and stuff like that, so I'm just going to go to my profile, and as you can see, I'm pretty far along in functions, and it is pretty nice, and you get awards and badges as you go, so, um, Nah, that is really nice. It has this thing, um, what's it called? Mono develop is a scripting thing. Ugh, it sucks. Let's get another. All right, honestly, no offense, Unity, but Notepad plus plus is better. Um, but yeah, guys. Um, uh, for modeling, if you want to model your things like I did, 
you're going to want to download this Blender file. And to get that, you're going to want to go to Blender.com. Probably not Blender.com. I didn't. Yeah. Blender. Wait. Who knows? And I want to Google and just search Blender. Um, yeah. Blender.org. Sorry about that trip up guys but blender.org you're going to want to go to download and just download your thingamajigger all right um in blender you can actually make 3d models so like for example my next creation that's going to be coming in is uh you can use all these tools and cut out different things and stuff like that so it's all really interesting uh i'd like to see what you guys made um and uh I would recommend starting with a cup. That's the easiest. There's tutorials everywhere for it. And I went here. So that was pretty fun making. But, um, yeah. So you have this, and you can model, and that's the next model that's going to be coming into my game soon. And you can texturize it in Unity. Alright, well guys, thank you for watching. That was a simple introduction to games. If you guys want me to make a tutorial on how to model and stuff like that, I probably won't do it. But you guys can still ask for it. And um, if you want to get to make PNGs, you're going to want to download a file called paint.net. And guess where it's located? Paint.net. Can you believe that? <laughs> Alright, well, um, wait. Wait. Whoa. Oh. Ugh, I changed it. Alright. Uh, just go on to paint.com, or I, I don't even know, but, uh, it's something, it's something. It's just called paint, paint, oh, it's getpaint.net, alright, I guess I couldn't write the domain, paint.net, but getpaint.net, so three links you're going to want to remember, getpaint.net, not three, more than three, I can't count, alright, so getpaint.net, Code Academy, you're going to also want to remember, Unity3D.com, depending on what you choose. UDK.com, and that's it. Oh, and Blender.org. So, guys, that's what you're going to want to remember, all these links, and you will be a game designer like a pro soon enough. Alright, guys, see you. Hope this helped out with all your future game creations. See you guys later.